Hello guys, over the last uh, two weeks we've been having our base camp holiday program. Firstly, thank you for all your support and thank you for attending and I hope you really learned something. Now a request that we've had is a lot of kids have been asking how do we do the knots again because you guys are all practicing at home. So I thought I might do a quick video um, to recap all the knots that we did so that you can keep practicing it at home because as I said, in our program, practice makes perfect. So come with me and then we're going to revise um, all these knots again and then hopefully that will help you. Okay, so the first one is we have the clove hitch. The clove hitch is simply once again putting the short end uh, over the object that we're tying it onto and then we need to flip it over so it crosses and when it crosses over it tucks back on itself and pull on both ends and you have the clove hitch so it should look like this next we have the round turn and half hitch so what we do in this case once again short end over the object but instead of crossing over we loop it twice and then we do a half hitch two of them over and under pull over and under pull that is the round turn and half hitch. Next, we have the canoeman hitch. Once again, make sure, making sure that your rope has got one long end and one short end. Now this time, we tuck under, grab the long end, pull tight on the short end, and then pull the short rope. And then as you pull up, don't pull it through, and then pull it tight so it locks on itself. And like I said, once again, with the canoeman hitch, you pull on the short end, it should release once again. Let's recap. Long, tight, and then short, pull. Got it? And then finally, the square knot that we have is looping over an object. You have a right and a left side. Remember that what I said, right over left, left over right. Okay, so right over left, the right goes under, pull and then left over right left goes under and then pull all four and you should have a nice little square knot like this okay all right now for the for those who are a lot more advanced now uh, we also did another four knots so come with me and we'll revise these four knots before we go to our final one which is the figure eight knot so the fifth knot we have is the constrictor hitch. So similar to the clove hitch, this is a close uh, cousin of the clove hitch. This is what we do. We cross over once again with the short, short end. Now rather than as a clove hitch, we tuck back on itself. However, what we do in this case, we cross over the long rope and then we tuck it in between the X. All right, underneath the X, and then we pull tight. Okay, the difference with that is it creates a much stronger hold than the clove hitch. It's actually quite hard to remove. All right, so this is why it's called the constrictor hitch. Let's try that again. Making sure you cross over, and then instead of tucking under, you loop over this long rope, and then you tuck it in between the X, of the cross. So that's the clove hitch. And then we also, sorry, that's the constrictor hitch. Thanks, Caleb. And then we have the bowline. Okay, first thing is loop with the short end over the long end, yeah? Going under the object, goes through the hole, under the long rope, and then go back in the hole again, and then we pull tight. Then we have the bow line. Okay, remember, the short end needs to be on the inside of the loop. That's the bow line, and then we have our taut line hitch. Our taut line hitch. Okay, the short end goes under and goes round the inside of the loop twice, once, twice and then the rest of the rope comes 
over the long rope and tuck itself back in again making sure that you have enough rope okay let's try that again but i'll do it with a i'll do the tote line hitch again just give yourself a little bit more rope go in the inside of the loop twice okay the remaining one goes over under and out the long end of the rope and then you pull tight and that's the taut line all right now the good thing about the taut line you can use it as a tent uh what tent guide rope that you can actually shorten and lengthen as you need okay without it will not pull back on itself so that's the taut line hitch now we have the sheet bend which is a close cousin of the square knot once again we loop put a bite on one end of the rope under around and tuck back on itself then pull okay holding this two end this one this end's got a bite and this one just looks back on itself and this is used to join two ropes together of different width okay if this is a thicker and the thinner you will not it will not come off all right so you cannot use the square knot to tie two ropes of different width this is where you need a sheet band all right the final knot that we all went through is for the advance now this is the figure eight knot all right used primarily for rock climbing so first thing is under over and come back on itself we form a figure eight this is what you want to achieve now like i said we do a follow me home of that rope okay so following this all the way out here so what we do is we loop under give yourself plenty of rope following that looping over and then going under all of them and then going tucking in so you should end up with a double figure eight and that's how you do a figure eight knot all right so hope you guys got all that uh, and keep practicing at home and i look forward to you guys beating once again your own personal best time the next time we see you and remember stay safe i know that we're all uh, restricted at home so this is a better opportunity to keep practicing and we'll see you outbound real soon. Take care.